Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro De Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's see what happened yesterday. We had this massive uh, breakout here to the downside. We dumped down. As you can see here, this was a clear breakout. We really squeezed out till the really end of this wedge. You can see that uh, we had the support here the green line but the wedge resistance here was too strong that brought us straight back down i didn't change anything on this line here so it was uh, actually a quite easy trade to do so as long as soon as uh, we broke here to the downside you could open a market a short order and write this thing down here uh, unfortunately i wasn't uh, at that point uh, on my computer so i missed out here the breakout and i entered the short position when we bounced back up here but i got again stopped out here with this uh, push that we had again to the upside uh, as you can see right now uh, i have no more order opened my short got closed of course with profit that's why you always should take a stop loss because then you can also look for another re-entry and uh, as you can see i have uh, some more shorts open here at uh, 11600 and 11500 as well um, and i will show you now why i also put it there because i still believe that we are uh, headed to the downside right now i don't think that we're gonna board back up uh, immediately here it is possible that we're going up again to test our previous uh, support so that uh, now should acting as a resistance this green line here at around 12,000 or maybe the red one here from the wedge here at around uh, 11,800 and I believe that probably we're gonna go up again to retest uh, uh, the previous um, uh support which is now acting as resistance so we have the confirmation that we are heading here to the downside of course we could uh, go back up because also you can see that the future contracts closed at 11,950 uh friday so it is possible that uh, uh as soon as we start again here the market in the cme future that uh, we uh, we will uh, open if we stay in this area around here so we would create this huge gap over here and maybe this one would get immediately filled uh, back up uh, on Monday or maybe even on Sunday but let's see it's also possible that we're going first down to fill the gap below of us before we then fill this one here at 11,950 uh, if we stay in this uh, price level over here but uh, let's go back here to the bitstamp chart and uh, let's do here in the one hour a fibonacci retracement just uh, uh on this breakout that we had here just this big candle here to the downside so as you can see we came down here to 11245 and then we had immediately bull support and we uh, went back up here to our point two three six fibonacci retracement at 11400 and you can see that we are moving within this channel here so the 11400 dollar is giving us resistance uh, right now and we have the support here where this candle came down at 11,240. So when we have these big uh, pushes to the downside, usually the, the price uh, bounce from here, maybe consolidate or maybe even have a pullback here up to our uh, resistance up here or at least to our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. This one or this one, the point. Uh, 382 which is lining up at 11,490 so I believe that probably we're gonna see a wick or at least a green candle here up to 11,500 or 11,650 and then continue the dump to the downside if we are heading uh, to the downside and I still believe that uh, we should uh, at least with this move cover uh, the gap down to 10,600 that we have in the futures contract but also maybe with this move we, we can go down to test here the 20 daily moving average which is very close by here you see the 20 and the 50 are lining up together they're right now at 10,930 so this is my 
my target for this move to at least go down to test the 20 and 50 daily moving average and then bounce back up from there. Maybe we can also see a wick or uh, at least a candle down to 10,600 so that we can uh, go and close this future gap. You can see also based on this move over here, it's lining up perfectly with the 0 0.382 Fibonacci retracement here in the daily. Also in the daily, you see stochastic is overbought, but the RSI is still above 50. So I believe that the, the, the push to the downside will not be in any more uh, so heavy. So probably around $500 to $1,000 uh, before we continue maybe to the upside or retest here the upper region of our main resistance uh, line. Uh, you can see that the daily RSI is above the 50. So this is still looking good, even if we had now this uh, break out to the downside. Uh, here in the very short term, uh, uh, like the four hour, you see that uh, everything is almost oversold right now. Stochastic oversold, RSI below the 50. So we are trading in the bearish side, but we aren't over uh, sold right now here in the four hours so we that's why i still expect that we should uh, see some further movement to the downside possible to the 20 daily which is around ten thousand nine hundred dollar and if you go back to the one hour time frame you can see that uh, uh, since we had this push here of course stochastic now is overbought but we'll come down immediately as soon as we go down to retest here the eleven thousand two hundred or maybe break down and also the RSI is uh, now in oversold territory. So in my opinion, even if you open here a short at 11,400 in this area here, uh, you should be doing fine on the way down. But uh, I'm still expecting that we're probably going to have a week here to the upside, at least a little uh, pullback. Um, maybe to bring here the RSI in the one hour and four hour to the 50 line and then from there bounce back down. Um, so I'm expecting uh, this move. That's why I am uh, opening uh, and in these levels here a short position and not right now at 11,400. Just to write it down to my target where we're probably going to bounce and then maybe I'm going to start uh, for a good uh, long entry again. Um, because of course I'm still bullish on Bitcoin and this move over here was just uh, a little move in, a, in the big picture here. So I was expecting this to bounce to the downside. I'm not expecting that we're going to test here ex again the, the uh, bottom line here at 9000. But of course everything is possible. Uh, but let's see. And if you also want to trade that on Bybit, you can go to my video description. Uh, you can find there an invitation code for Bybit where you can get $10 for free. And if you put a deposit, you can get additional $50 that you can trade here uh, up to 100x leverage. Right now I'm trading with 10x and I'm pretty fine with that because the liquidation prices are... Uh, are quite uh, reasonable all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up uh, if you like the content please give it a like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one bye